hey guys how are you all so today i was just reflecting on uh, my routine and my um my actions the results i'm getting from uh, my life and overall general so i do try to uh, reflect time to time uh, just to realize and notice what's going on and what can i do better and all so yeah excuse my look i haven't um, taken char yet today is uh, today is a friday and yeah i work from home on friday so i get the time to chill out a little bit otherwise i have to um, I really have to get up so early and you know leave the home before like you know <laughs> so yeah it's it's really a crack of the dawn uh, dawn that I start my day usually so excuse my look today is my cool and uh, chilling day while working from home okay so coming back to my topic so the topic today is basically how i realized a very important thing while reflecting um my reflecting on my recent activities recent circumstances in my life so okay how to put this across um basically uh when we have like certain um you know aspects of our life some are doing very good some are doing not so good and some are really really bad and when um something is you know working really good in our life say some friends are very nice or your uh, uh you know a bunch of people you are dealing with are very good and very pretty and they are very uh pretty in the sense in their behavior they are, they are very good and they are you know making you feel very good all the time and say if it's um um the side of your spouse or your partner and then you realize okay my friends are doing not so good they are not so pleasing they are not so um comforting they are not so i would say obedient whatever it like you know like for example like i like i would call them a bunch of a people and bunch of b people so say a is doing really good and you know and they happen to be on the side of your friends say the, the, your sorry your spouse so your spouse's friends are really nice and comforting and really understanding and helping say if your side of friends are not that good are not that uh, responding are not that uh, understanding are not that welcoming and then you kind of think okay uh, because these are my friends uh, they represent me in in front of my spouse or partner and they have to be good because um, their behavior is reflecting uh, my prestige you know they are they are fulfilled if they are doing good then i can probably say oh they are my friends uh and if they are not understanding they are not as uh, welcoming and inviting as my spouse's uh, bunch of friends then my spouse get to say okay my friends are better see or something like that you know it's a human nature you know we all do that so in a healthy way i'm not saying we have to blame each other but yeah but somehow even in fun you realize okay these are my friends and um uh, what kind of friends i have look at my my spouse's friends they are so inviting they are so helping in every way and yeah so what do we tend to do our conscious i'm not saying uh we do it deliberately i think it's a habit or it's like a subconsciously what we tend to do we try and find the faults in the good bunch of people so i, I what the person do or like a wife will tend to do or you know say in my case so what we'll tend to do that uh, i will have to find some faults in good people highlight them create a little bit of drama and um, put that across put that across and on the table in front of my husband of course in uh, private not in front of those friends and compare you know see your friends have do have done this have said this or haven't done this or haven't do, um, whatever so you know little faults that are not usually visible but i will try and find why not because the friends are troubling me just because i want to level up with my bunch of friends because i know my bunch of friends are not doing sad, that good in the sense they are not as welcoming or helping as my spouse's bunch of friends so instead of accepting okay it is what it is or probably try to improve my relationship with my friends i would try and find faults in the good people that are good to me as well 
but since i want to level up my other aspect of my life my set of friends i will not try to level up that or for me i i tried i couldn't i would try to bring down the good friends uh, you know the qualities i would ignore and i would find and try to highlight the faults in front of my spouse so that he um, to make him think okay your friends are not that good you know don't treat or don't think so bad about my friends your friends are not that good either so that kind of mentality i caught today especially in myself uh of course i cannot comment on others because i was reflecting on my own personal behavior in my life so that kind of mentality is so self sabotaging why because um you already have a bunch of people th- those are not so good to you right or to your spouse or in in you know in a overall sense of life so instead of getting rid of the frequency of that not so good people if you don't like them you have to let them go right but instead of doing that you have uh, you have developed a new tendency to find the fault in the good aspect of your life in the good people in your life just to win your, your you know false self esteem is not good self esteem it's like uh, fulfilling your false self esteem basically and uh, yeah instead to so in so basically what i'm trying to say is while doing this whole thing you are losing the goodest set of people also from your life you know so slowly and slowly if you feed that negativity in your spouse's mind he will think and see his friends he might see his friend in a different way he might reject your idea then it's very good if he doesn't reject your idea and he always he actually perceives that idea okay yeah actually my friends are not that good either then you both will lose a very good set of helping and welcoming inviting friends or people in your life so what did i achieve doing this nothing one set of people were already not so good or bad i wanted to let them go anyway another set of good people i made them this way and i perceived my uh, you know thoughts like that and i made that made a point that my husband also see them in a different from a different eye of negativity and we we both will end up losing good people also so the moral of the story is whatever is doing good in your life keep it elevate it why you attracted those good of set of people in your life because you had some kind of good consciousness level you make sure that you have very good frequency high frequency high vibration that's why you attracted those set of people in your life but at the same time you might be having so such you know low frequency negativity we all do that's why we also have not so good people in our lives too let's admit we all have right and we don't want to communicate so well with them we don't want to be in touch with them because of the same reason because of their vibrations or negativity so yeah we should do that we should let them go we should uh, have very least contact with them as least as possible but in order to just leveling up the bad people there is no way you can level them up you should preserve and elevate your relationship with the good people you have it goes with everything it goes with the um, every aspect of your good and bad life you know because in every aspect a person has good aspect and in a, so in everybody's life you have good aspect and bad aspect so instead of leveling up the bad aspect if you can't you tried and tried you can't leave it and focus on the good if you focus on the good you will attract more good if you keep focusing on the bad you will attract more bad people more bad circumstances and the like so yeah so just focus on the good level it up stick with it appreciate the good people in your life appreciate the good things in your life and you will get more of it so don't even try to level up your side of people your bunch of friends if they if they treat you badly it doesn't matter it's like your friends or their friends just see how people treat you if it if a, if in, even if a stranger treats you well you want to offer them something you know you chit chat you laugh and you didn't even know that person like 2 minutes ago so it really doesn't matter whose friends is this whose things are that it really doesn't matter all matters is how people are treating you if they are treating you well preserve them develop good relationships with them 
and if people are not treating you well even if they are best you you call them best friends you have to let them go if you want to level up your consciousness otherwise those bad people those negative people will keep bringing you down to their own level and even if you're reading hundreds of books doing meditation doing whatever personality courses mental health courses you will not be able to elevate your consciousness to a higher level it will all be wasted because whatever you level up those bad people will bring you down so you have to let them go and only focus on good things and good people in your life all right that was my um uh not so short video and i'll see you next time very soon stay healthy bye bye